Hello, I'm Makoto from Seibo, Japan. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about what is the mission of Seibo and also about our business. But not only business, but it's charity-driven business. We are doing charity by doing business. So what kind of system we have and also what kind of passion we have. And then, finally, I'm going to introduce some tips for you to how to get involved into our activity. So that's why please take notes and also please keep your ideas and share with your colleagues and make it more concrete to put it into practice at the end of the presentation. So excited, <laughs> I'm going to start to introduce myself and also our organization at the first stage. So let me share my screen. And here is the videos. So take, take a look before my lesson, actually. And this is the first slide I'm going to show you. OK, let me start. This is actually the image of children getting a cock at the Malawi, Malawi's elementary school. It's very early morning. What time do you eat? Do you have breakfast? This is the very fast, fast things to eat for Malayan kids. So they're hungry, but they can trigger the day by a small school meal. When I met Malayan people, when I met, when I knew Malawi because of this guy, this old guy <laughs> from Britain, he has a business. He had a big business right now, but it was very small. Actually, started from very agricultural background. He started to rent a lot of things. For example, sewing machines and a lot of things. As I was saying, juki in English, in Japanese. He's very good at making a process to make a big money. For example, if I rent you this pen, it's a strange, <laughs> but after one week, someone gave me back. And one week, we can expect we can get 1,000 yen. One week to rent this 1,000 yen. So we can expect we can do small forecast easily. So that's why he's very good at rental business and started a SIM card business. What is SIM card? Inside this phone, you have a small card in 30 years ago, Tony Smith, his name, he was wondering if he could change the phone number with a lot of people when he went abroad. It was very difficult to provide the contact at the time because there were no SIM card uh, separated from the tablet or device. So it's very new business to sell SIM card itself. But he was the very first person to sell SIM card as itself. So he would like to start it, the business, the SIM card business. And he traveled around, but during his travel around the world, <laughs> he went to Malawi and asked the people there, what do you think you need in Malawi? And the answer is, it's very simple job for young people. That's why he started to make the profit for charity. It is a very big moment. It's a crossroad of his life. He started to donate a lot of money for Malayan people. So he started not school feeding project at that time, but vocational center for young people. And I was young too. <laughs> I was 27 when I joined this company. And I met him in Tokyo. Do you remember 2017? It was a big wave of inbound business. What is inbound? Inbound business is people who come into Japan for sightseeing, business, study, a lot of purpose. We, uh, we were starting the business inbound in Japan around that time. 
when I was a small student. <laughs> and I joined the company, but why? Because he said, Tony, Tony asked me, do you want to go to Malawi? It was very strange <laughs> for me because I didn't know about Malawi. I didn't know about what he's doing. But he gave, my, he gave me the business card and upside down, there's a small word. It says, doing charity by doing business. It struck me very well because I was studying theology, Shingaku. So practical theology means a charity, doing charity for other people from a church community, something like that. And also I studied English literature and I loved traveling around, chatting with other people. So I, I like to do something new with other people. I was excited to get some job hunt. But <laughs> I also wanted to do something for others because I knew a lot of people who was affiliated with charity organization. So it was surprising to see doing charity by doing business. So that's why I jumped into his company, the Japanese branch in Korakuen, and found it was <laughs> telecom company. So that's why I started to sell SIM card, but as it says in the slide, entrepreneurship. I started NPO called Sebo to school feeding project for Malawi. As an entrepreneurship, what is entrepreneurship? Not entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is to start something in a company. His company, Tony's company, his passion, is to change the world, but not only travel the world, but change the world by SIM card, charity SIM card, and also charity right now coffee. <laughs> and change means to provide work for young Malayan people. And also the population is very young. So that's why it's very important to feed the kids at school. It triggers, as I said in this, the first slide, it triggers a lot of children to go to school and keep going, keep studying in the same place. So that's why for poor country, it is very important to feed and educate it. Feed and educate it. That's why school meal is very important, like a mother who give food and a way to live. So protect the children like motherly earth. So that's why sable, sable means motherly earth, Virgin Mary in Christianity. So that's why we started sable. And also we hired seven local staff and they were actually delivering school meal. And we are helping them to feed the kids. And then uh, on the right, <laughs> I got an award Social Contribution Award, Shakai Koken Show, 2022. So now I am a kind of charity businessman. So I started business as an entrepreneurship and doing charity by doing business. So it was my career and also it is my career. I excited to see what happened after I got the job. Yes. So if you like to know more, I write down the link to see my pet talk video. You can find it and see what I am right now doing. Thank you for this part. And later, I'm going to talk about what we are doing right now in Malawi and also in Japan. Thank you.